So, it took forever, but I finally uploaded all the assets for the game on ArtStation, which marks the end of the Macrophage project. For me, it's kind of symbolic because this whole channel started while I was still rigging and designing Blenda, and now, three years later, it also ends with Blenda. Modeling, rigging, weight painting, constraints, drivers, motion capture, texturing, square UVing, custom normals, anime shading, hitboxes, programming, and UI design. Everything you've learned on this channel, all of it is in this game. And there's a reason why it's free to play. And that's because I wanted you guys to be able to see that the skills that you learn here on this channel, they're not random. These are the exact skills that I use every day to complete a real project. And hopefully when you see it, it might even inspire you to imagine what your own project could look like when it's finally complete. Everything looks stupid when it's in T-pose. It's only in the end that you realize it was worth it. And with the close of this chapter, I am officially pivoting my direction from indie dev to 3D modeler and animator. After 15 years of indie development, I have realized that I am a much better character creator than I am a programmer. There were many points during development where I would spend hours or days trying to fix a programming glitch, and in the back of my mind I couldn't help but think, man, I could have made an entire new character in the time it took me to fix this goddamn glitch. So now that the project is over, I see this as an opportunity to sharpen my skills in a direction that fits my abilities the most. I'm pretty confident in my modeling and animation capabilities, and I know how to work fast for production workflows, but I also know that I'll always have a long way to go. And I would also like to see just how good I could become if I also wasn't dividing my time between building a game. So now that I'm focusing my time and skills on character design, I will also be shifting my genre from sci-fi to fantasy. All of the projects that I've worked on in the past decade have been in sci-fi, and I love that genre. But while I'm still in my prime, I have a bunch of ideas for fantasy fantasy style characters, and I think if I hone my skills enough, I could make some really beautiful and unique designs for the community. And since I'm going to be focusing on cool characters, I have decided to finally try and make the move to Unreal. This doesn't mean that I'm abandoning Unity. Unity is still the software that I am most comfortable with, but if I'm being honest, there are things I wish it would do better. So I want to see how Unreal stacks up compared to what I know in Unity. It's a AAA level engine, and it's completely free, so you don't need any money, which I think makes it a perfect tool for a community like ours. Now, I'll be honest, I have procrastinated moving to Unreal for a very, very long time because I know how to do all this cool stuff in Unity and the thought of having to start all over again is just really, really annoying. But I've seen Unreal Engine experience required on too many job applications and if all the professionals are using it and it's free, then there really is no excuse as to why I'm not using it. Because at that point, the only person that's probably losing out on everything is me. Before I go to Unreal though, I do want to practice sculpting more detail detailed and photorealistic characters. It's a style that I've always wanted to do, but just was never willing to put in the time. And I think that most people are probably tired of seeing all my old characters. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time making a few new ones before we go to Unreal. While I am creating these characters, I will be experimenting with some new modeling techniques, new tools for eyes, lashes, hair, and trying to find ways to optimize the most redundant parts of the workflow. I will also be starting a new series, but I'll talk more about that in the next video. So in the meanwhile, as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.